welcome back to the beginner trombone series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you and teaching you the best warm-up and practice routine template for being for beginner trombone players. So let's get into the video. For warm-up, for beginners at least, I would say, you start with breathing. And then go breathing, and then go into long tones. And that's the warm-up. So breathing, I would suggest... Um, doing it, doing breathing because if you can master your breathing and your breathing technique, you will be able to master playing the trombone faster than if you don't work on your breathing and have horrible breathing. So what I like to do, what I would suggest doing is doing something like this, where you breathe in for four, breathe out for four, and you can do this as far as you can go, but four in, four out, and then four in, six out, and then four in, eight out, and four in, ten out. And when I mean four in, I mean four beats in. So like this, one beat, two beat, three beat, four beat, and then out. So like this. And you want to breathe from your stomach, so it's like this. You can, what I would suggest doing is is step using your foot for your kind of your metronome type thing and holding on your stomach so you can feel it go in and out. That was six out. Now four in, eight out. And I'm only doing that so you can hear it but I would suggest trying to do it without like this. You can't hear me, but that was going four in, four out. And now four in, 10 out. This is focusing on breath control, not moving anything in the shoulders, like this. You want it, you want it to be like this. <sighs> Nothing here in the shoulders, neck, head. You don't want any tension there, because that will restrict your playing. And I would suggest doing four in, four out, four in, six out, four in, eight out, four in, ten out. 4 and 12 out, 4 and 14 out, 4 and 16 out, 4 and 18 out, 4 and 20, if you can do that. Just go as long as you can. But you don't want to have to, you don't want to go to the point where it's like you have to squeeze to get the last bits of air out because that is when you're practicing bad breathing. You just want to go until you feel it, like where it's, it's kind of tough, it's pretty, it's pretty difficult, but it's not where it's like, like too difficult where you're using bad technique. So that's the first part of the warm-up, which is breathing. Great way to do that. And then the second part is long tones and um, different forms of those. First, I suggest with long tones is to just start on, since I taught the B flat, I taught the B flat scale. I taught you guys the B flat scale in one of my other videos. So I would suggest starting on the F, which is um, it's the fifth note of the B flat scale, and it sounds like this. And I would suggest doing long tones and then just going down. So I'd suggest doing a long tone for either four beats, six beats, eight beats, ten beats, whatever you think, and then just doing it like this. Since you don't, maybe not, not going to know all the notes, but you just go down on half, about this much every time on the slide. You may not know all those notes because there's E natural in there, there's a D flat in there, but considering that you haven't learned those notes yet, 
but just do it like that and then but if you're having a hard time figuring that out I'd say another alternative to that would be really doing this type of glissando type thing really slow <laughs> slowly that also works on long tones you can also do that from the B flat too and that's my um, long part of my long tone section so let's go over and review it again we've done breathing is part of it we've done part of the long tones and the second section of the long tones is where you do the same thing where you go down, but with this little extra um, tonguing exercise with it. I would do this for four beats and then the tonguing exercise. And then you go down a half, half, about an inch or a little bit less. beats da ta and then after the four beats you go ta ta so you go four beats ta four beats again and it's a ta so you go t t t t you have an off piece like this so you're going four beat whole note help help so a whole note for four beats and then you go ta another four beats and then you um go down every position and then after you do that, this is the next one. It's four beats and then ta ta. And it's the same thing, but you're adding another ta while that went. And with these ones where it's the um, adding the tongue and the ta. I will, you don't have to do all the positions, but I would suggest through between those two different ones, I would suggest getting all the positions in. So say for the for the one where it's one ta, you do all the way down, you do four four positions, and then for the double ta, you do another four positions to make it equal. But you don't have to do all the positions in all, both both those exercises because then it'll take a while, and you might not have that much time. So after the um, long tones after doing the breathing the long tones and the long tones with the tongue and you can get into your actual practice routine which I would first start suggest would be to practice your scales and the most um, beginner books like accent on achievement or most of them have um, your scales in there and since you know may or may not know the B flat scale yet depending on how far you are and if you've been working on it but maybe you're still working on it and that's one thing you work on and for me at least what I suggest would be if you're having any trouble with any of these notes where they're feeling like you need to squeeze it into your face to um, get the note out because it's kind of high and you don't have the um, ability to play that high, I would just, let's say it's the G, I would just, don't be afraid to miss it, just, just play it loud, use lots of air, just take a big breath. And then you get to the G, and the G is the next one. You just take a big breath in. Take a big breath in and just bang it out. And then, maybe if you get the G, maybe go start on the F. So you can get it in context, like F, G, F, G. And then you just use, I would suggest you using lots of air all the way from your diaphragm using tons of air doesn't matter if you fail it because you should be confident and just use lots of air 
when hitting it, you don't push in your mouth, face, or squeeze at all. So you practice your scales, and then I would suggest after that, it's not a great, very extensive practice routine, but you practice your scales, whichever scales you're working on, figuring out the scales, and once you know all your scales, you're very good to go for a long time. I'm talking about major scales. Minor scales you can learn later, but um, after scales, or after you're working your scales for a little bit, I would suggest diving into the, like, the beginner method books and learning the songs. Whatever they are, if it's hot cross buns, whatever it is, just diving into that and working on those songs until you can master all those songs in that book. And then after you get done with the first book, then you go to the second book and then you keep progressing. And that's what I suggest to do for a beginner as um, a warm-up and a practice routine. It gets more advanced with the um, warm-up and the practice routine once you become a more better player where you're playing solos and other things. But as a beginner, you're just focusing on some of the basics and using lots of correct air so you don't breathe wrong because that'll, that'll hurt you down the road like it hurt me. So have a good practice routine and have fun. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing, commenting, and liking for more videos in the Beginner Trombone series. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and come back for next week for another video in the Beginner Trombone series. Thanks for watching.